everyone, welcome back to our channel. We are back with another five weekly favorites. We love doing these videos. Um, so we'll just jump right in. We actually have six. Um, yeah. But two are like cream bronzers, so they're kind of like Can in we the same decide realm. we both have one? Yeah. Um, okay, so the first weekly favorite is a TV show. It's on Netflix. It's called Never Have I Ever. And we had heard about this because Mindy Kaling wrote it and like produced it. And yeah, we love it, right? everything she does. Yeah, everything she touches, we are fans of. We love Mindy. I think we've talked about it multiple times. I saw her at Trader Joe's once. I was too scared to go up to her, and it's my biggest regret. Um, but anyway. Probably your only regret, to be I honest. I know, probably my only regret. And I, I like, call. Oh, I just crumbled under pressure. It was too much. It was too much. But um, the show is so good. It centers around a young Indian girl. She is a freshman, technically. No, she's a sophomore. Well, on the first episode, yeah. Oh, she's, yeah, okay. It's her first day of sophomore year, but they talk about, um, they have, like, flashback to when she was a freshman. Um, so she's probably around, like, 15. Mm -hmm. And it's about, like, her trying to become more popular in her sophomore year. Um, she wants to finally get a boyfriend. She has a huge crush on the popular guy. And then um, there's also trauma that happens in her life. Her dad passes away um, at her orchestra concert. So it kind of delves into, like, standard teenage, like, uh, dramas, if you will, like drama comedies. Yeah. And, like, that whole genre of entertainment. But then also... Uh, there's like trauma from her dad passing away, so it gets serious at times. But it's just really good. It's like a coming of age story. Um, she has a great, funny personality, like mm -hmm. very Mindy's humor. If yeah. you guys are fans of like the Mindy Project or anything that she writes, um, it's that type of humor, and it's very female centric, and it's just a great it's show. It's so good. Um, we don't want to like spoil anything, but yeah. there are only ten episodes. It's really easy to watch. Mm -hmm. Watch it today. Yeah, we <laughs> this weekend. Like so truly good. loved it. Loved it's so it. good. Okay, so next up, I want to mention the mattress that I just purchased. So my best friend Alyssa had recommended Tuft and Needle. I think she got hers like a few years ago and she'd raved about it and I'd heard such good things. I feel like they're like gaining popularity. Um, they actually opened a store in Glendale and obviously we can't go to the store right now. I'm sure it's closed. But um, I just thought that was interesting. Like obviously they're popular enough to open some sort of showroom. And so I was doing research on, there are so many different mattress options out there, like literally so many. And because Alyssa had like spoken so highly of this particular brand, I just kind of went with it. I didn't really do too much research on the other options because I tried her and um, it's just overwhelming trying to pick out like a mattress online and um, my boyfriend and I want to upgrade to a king because it's just like too much like he's pretty tall and it's we the like, queen was too small for us so we made the move to a king and then we decided on the hybrid mattress from Tufty Needle which still has the springs but then it has a layer of like a foam mattress as well we went with that option because we thought it would be the most like your standard mattress it wouldn't be like too much of an adjustment and also we just assumed it would last the best over time because it has the springs like we're just unfamiliar with a foam mattress in general and i didn't want it to like deplete over the next like few years um so i feel deplete deplete <laughs> yeah i guess uh, I, I don't know either way yeah whatever I think you're saying you guys know i never say anything correctly um and so basically we decided to go with the hybrid and we're super happy with it it's so plush it's so tall it's like much taller than a standard mattress it's so comfortable um we're obsessed with it i feel like it's totally worth the investment if you're looking for a mattress i mean a lot of these like online retailers i feel like they're finding success because as you know, like direct to consumer, you cut out the store, you cut out the middleman, and so you're able to get like higher quality pieces at like a lower price. Same thing with article, like where we bought this couch, mm -hmm. same kind of deal. Um, and I think that like lives up to the hype. Like I feel like these, the mattress was such good quality for what we paid. So highly recommend if you're in the market for a new mattress. Um, super happy with it. I think it's so comfortable. I'm so pleased. Okay, um, next we have some cream bronzers to discuss. Okay, so we both, this is how we kind of oh run no, into that. How did I get on mine? Oh well. <laughs> um, so we both bought the Tarte bronzer, mm -hmm. which we love. It's um, so good. It's the Tarte, what is it called? It's the Breezy Cream Bronzer in the shade Seashells. Um, it's actually clean at Sephora. So that's great. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it. it's in their, like, clean range. The packaging's um, so cute. Yeah, it's adorable. We, they were sold out of the small size. It's back in stock now, so if you wanted to just, like, test it out, they have, a like, a travel size. But I'm really happy we got the full yeah, size. Yeah, me too. Because um, this has, like, nice matte packaging, and 
it's just like a good size. Um, this bronzer is amazing. I'm not wearing it today, are you? No, so I was, I wore the Ilya bronzer. Me too, me too. But, um, but I've been wearing it like every day. It blends so beautifully. And um, you guys know we love the Milk Makeup Cream Bronzer, which is also now clean at Sephora. Um, but that one leaves more of like a dewy finish. I wouldn't say it's dewy, but it definitely has more of like a natural skin-like finish where this dries down more matte. Yeah, and I feel mm -hmm. like this is really buildable. You can like take a really light layer yeah, and then you can true. go over the top and really build it up to be pretty intense if you wish to do that but um on a regular day like because we've been working from home I've just been wearing like the Ilya skin tint mm -hmm. um just patting a little concealer under my eye this bronzer and then a little um brow product too. and it like makes you feel so put together like this bronzer makes me feel like it adds so much warmth to the face but yeah. also you can kind of contour with it yeah so it just makes me feel like like alive <laughs> yeah on days yeah. when I feel so tired and like we're all kind of sick of working from home mm -hmm. obviously it's um, a good shade and even though it's a bit warmer than the milk one it's warmer um but it's it almost be still, blush yeah it still doesn't look like too warm um it's really beautiful I'm so impressed because we love cream bronzer and it's so hard mm -hmm. to find good ones and I'm going to talk about another one Okay, so then the other one is also clean at Sephora. This is just a clean brand in general, Tower 28. And I had never purchased anything from them, um, but I saw this. Caitlin B actually talked about it on her story after I had watched some other people talk about it. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna get that. It was only $20. Um, I believe it's the same formula as their cream blushes, which people rave about, which were also sold out during the sale for like the first week. Now they're back in stock, I believe. Um, it's super shimmery. Like this is a very shimmery product. Um, at first I thought it looked like an eyeshadow, but when it goes on your skin, and I'm sorry I'm not wearing it now, it does look like a blush, bronzer, and highlight in one. Like even though the other shade, which I believe is called Best Coast, this one is West Coast, um, it does have more of a strong red undertone. Uh, this one on me, West Coast, still looks a bit red, but I love it because again, like Britta said, we've been working from home and I'll just throw on like the skin tint from Ilia and this on top and it has like those red tones that kind of gives me like a blushed appearance, but also just kind of like a sunburnt tan and you can see the shimmer, but in like a very pretty way. Like it doesn't make my skin look textured. It doesn't make me look crazy like I have like mm -hmm. glitter on my face. It just, like I said, it almost acts like a highlighter. So this is like truly to me like a one and done product. Like you can put this on and feel like you have blush bronzer and highlight and it's just like so effortless and beautiful it's more pigmented than, than i thought but it blends out really easy and i also put this it's supposed to be multi-use so i put it on my eyes um last week and it does crease so you have to keep that in mind but it looks so pretty it makes such a pretty eyeshadow so i'm really impressed with this okay next um we tried this self well, what was it called gradual tanner lotion yeah i, I guess like it too Okay, so um, we both loved Savon's Lux Unfiltered. Mm -hmm. um, what is that called? Just it's also a gradual tanner. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we ran out of it, and you guys know, I think we've spoken about this before, the smell. Like, Carly said she could get past it. Just after a while, it like was really intense mm -hmm. to me, and so I just wanted to try something else. And I saw this at Target. It had rave reviews on Target and Ulta. I love the packaging. Me too. The packaging is like... I don't like mind blowing to me that no one else really does this because you can like sit it and I sit it in my shower mm -hmm. and I put it on right after the shower and it doesn't tip over. Um, I feel like enough product is dispensed here. I don't know. It's like the packaging is like Very mess clean. clean. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it smells, it kind of has like a citrus smell. Yes. It's so weird. It has like it's a kind of like, I guess citrus like mango smell. Like a tropical Like a little citrus? grapefruit too. Maybe. You can still smell the tan, but but it's not so that much, much better. Yeah. yeah, like you really can. It does not smell like self tanner to me. Um, I put this on, like I dry off um, once I get out of the shower and put a layer of this on and just let it sit for a little bit, not too long, probably like a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and then I get dressed and it doesn't leave my skin streaky. I mean, we probably look so pale on camera. I know. I was going to so have that studio too. lights here, but we've been using this and it creates a really nice natural looking yeah, tan it that's not too intense yeah it doesn't look streaky at all yeah it doesn't look streaky um, um it's really affordable i think it was like 13 dollars. Mm -hmm. i almost want to buy like a backup because 
I don't want to run out. Yeah. I will say Savans, like, after one day of that, like, you look dark. In my yeah. opinion, like, it gets you so dark, and that's so amazing. This, I feel like it took me, like, four days to get to, like, what one day of hers does. But, yeah, like, you can't even smell it after a while, or at least we can't really. No. And it really sinks into the skin, which also sometimes that one kind of left a film on yeah. my skin. So, for those reasons, I feel like I would just keep using this, and it's so affordable. Um... But I think it, it'll be good in the summer when, like, maybe we'll actually get some actual color safely. We'll still use SPF. Mm -hmm. um, and then kind of, like, keeping up a tan yeah. with this. But it's really nice. I'm, like, shocked at how much I like me it. Me too. Me too. Okay. And last uh, for the weekly favorites is another show. So just quick backstory. My favorite book series is the Cormoran Strike. Or how do you say his name? They said it different on the show. Corm know. Cormoran? Cormoran? Strike series um, by J.K. Rowling under the pseudonym Robert Galebrief. So there are four books total right now. Um, I have all four of them. I love them. They're amazing. It's basically a private detective in London. Um, he's an ex-war veteran. And then um, this woman, Robin, comes to work for him kind of as his secretary. But then she, he quickly makes her his partner. And they're basically just like hired by families or just random people to solve these crimes that... Um, the police can't solve essentially. It's so good. I love the series so much and when I heard that they were coming out with a television show I was so excited to watch it and then for some reason I thought it was a BBC show mm -hmm. and I recently like during this quarantine I'm like I need to find out how to watch that show and I googled it and it seems like it's a Cinemax original in partnership with BBC so I'm not really sure how logistically that works but basically if you have a Cinemax subscription you can watch it so I downloaded the free trial, the weekly trial of Cinemax, um, which there are actually some good movies on there. So it seems like if you're into movies that it would be like a good subscription to get. I think it's $10 a month. But anyways, I downloaded it and watched the series in like three days. There are three episodes per book. So um, the fourth book, they that season isn't out yet. So there were three episodes for the first book, The Cuckoo call, Cuckoo's Calling, three episodes for the second book, The Silkworm, and then two episodes for the last book, um, Career of Evil. And honestly, like it... It followed the books from my not from my recollection like perfectly. I loved the casting. I was obsessed with the show. I literally like can't stay awake past midnight, no matter what. Even if I have coffee late, and I stayed up till 2 a.m. watching the show because I could not turn it off. And I don't even think you need to read the books to watch it. I think it's just if you're into like suspenseful dramas, I think you would really like it. And um, just watch like kind of a romantic thing too. Um, there's this whole thing between the two of them and. Um, I don't want to spoil anything and the show doesn't end this way but I just love love it so much I was so impressed with how well done it was and how it like really mirrored the book so well and I don't know when the fourth season is coming out um hopefully sooner than later and then I think I'll just purchase those because you can also purchase the episodes I think on Amazon for like two dollars each so I'll probably just do that but if you've read the books definitely watch the show if you haven't read the books still watch the show. I think it's so good. It's called, if I didn't mention this, the actual show is called CB Strike. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you had a great week and you'll have a great weekend too.